welcome to Restored by Polish. I'm Krista, and we're going to do on my own today, and I'm really sad about it, but um, I really want to get going with our alternative gemstones, birthstone series, um, and since I don't have Jacqueline with me, or Jackie, or anybody else who could co-host with me, it's, this is going to be a little bit of a different take on it well i mean it's gonna be the same but i gotta do both things so i have to be able to show the polish and tell you guys what um it represents so um so bear with me i'm gonna do my best on it hopefully it'll turn out okay and for march and there's so many different <laughs> options um there were some i mean of course aquamarine is the traditional birthstone um for march but there um, the one that we did last month, which was the Jasper, also comes up quite a bit in March as well. So, but we've already done that because it's also the alternative birthstone for February. So the one that I saw next repeatedly, <laughs> I guess you could say, is Jade. So Jade kept coming up for March. So that's what we're going to be talking about. It's actually really fascinating. It's got a pretty fascinating um, background as well as just thoughts on jade that I hadn't even realized before that there's actually two different types of jade. So we're going to uh, look through these polishes that I picked out for that. I actually have some jade jewelry of my own that I'm going to share some pictures of and you can kind of get a taste for the differences as well as other jade pictures that I'm going to probably post in here as well. So without further ado, let's get the camera turned around and we'll talk about jade and jade polishes. Okay, let's get started. So all of the information I'm gonna be talking about with Jade is going to be from stonesmentor.com. I'll link that in the description box. So let's talk about my first polish that I picked up that I thought represented Jade. And so this first one here is from Sally Hansen Instadry and it's called Time is Money and it's like time the herb. And it's just a beautiful cream. I have a couple creams in the ones that I picked out. Um, it's got a dusky quality to it that I just really love. The only thing I don't like about the Sally Hansen Instadry ones are the long stem. The brush I think is okay, but the stem is just so annoying because it just drips so much polish down. You have to be really careful not to flood your cuticles. But on the nail, it looks like this one right here. So it's a pretty little green, muted green. I really like it. I think it's really pretty. So the first thing that we're gonna learn about Jade um, is that Jade, has two different variations. One is called jade, jadeite, I should say. Jadeite, and the other one is called nephrite. And the difference is, is that jadeite is more valuable and a lot stronger, and nephrite is more subtle in its coloring, um, and it's more widely available. There's a little bit more to it with the like science behind it and the geology behind it. But basically most of the really expensive stuff is jadeite and the stuff that is more common and less expensive is the, the nephrite. All right, and the next polish that I picked out, you guys are probably wondering when you're looking on my nail oil, well, what did I pick? Is this from from Simple Colors? I'm really super excited to wear this one. If you wanna see this one, compared to the Sally Hansen. It's a little bit bluer, not quite as green. I don't know if you can see that. We'll look at it on the nail wheel too. This one is called U uh, Eucalypta, and it was from like a fall collection. Um, was it two or three years ago? It was kind of a weird fall collection because they were all almost like spring colors. I feel like this is a color you can wear in spring. They all had this kind of dusky quality that were in that collection. Really good formulas on it. Um, it's super pretty. It looks like this on the nail. And I think if I was going to have to pick between that one and the Sally Hansen, I, I like the Simple Color ones one better. But yeah, guess why? Because it looks more blue, right? So that's probably why I'm going to lean towards it. But they're both really pretty. So... I think that's nice. Okay, the next thing that we're gonna learn about with Jade um, is that it is thought to heal kidney and urinary tract problems. Isn't that crazy? Kidney and urinary tract problems. Well, that's interesting. Let's do one more since we, I don't have that many polishes for, for Jade, so. Um, and it is thought to foster peace and serenity. So you can use it it's supposed to help with like anxiety and depression, that kind of thing. 
All right, my next polish is going to be this one, which was a gift from the amazing Carolina from Gotta Love Polish. She sent this to me. This is Great Lakes Lacquer and it's called Jackson. Super pretty, I haven't even worn it yet. I wore, she sent me a few and I've worn them all except for this one. This is the only one I haven't worn yet. And it's this really pretty dusky green with this beautiful Aurora shimmer that's in there. It's super, super, super pretty. It looks, oh, and I'm sorry. Yeah, I did say it was Jackson. Can't remember if I told you guys that or not. Um, so this is what it looks like on the nail. Yes, I know Jade doesn't typically have a shimmer in there, but you know, it's the base color, right? I just figured it was in that same kind of tone category. A jade, like other stones, can have a variety of different colors. So some of them can be pretty muted and light, and then others of them can be more green. Um, so it just it just depends. All right, the next um, little thing we're going to talk about here is that jade promotes positive thoughts and feelings. So it promotes positive thoughts and feelings, and it brings balance and harmony. So there you go, which actually makes sense to me because if you have been around and watched our color psychology series, green was energizing, the color green was energizing, but it also was supposed to bring like harmony and balance too. So I wonder sometimes that we've talked about that before, how much does the color of the stone kind of get in there with the color psychology? I don't know. I don't know if anybody's ever looked at that, but it might be something interesting to look at and see if they do kind of go hand in hand. All right, the next one we're gonna look at is going to be this one from Zoya, which is relatively new to my collection. This one is called Gemma, and it's a beautiful, I'm gonna call it jade green, uh, with this pretty blue, kind of like bluish shimmer, bluish pinky shimmer, I guess you can say in there. Um, I don't know how much it shows up on the nail, but I feel like with these kind of little barely there shimmers they brighten the polish and i can definitely see it from extreme ang angles i mean you do kind of have to really look at it but i do think overall when polishes have a shimmer it brightens the whole color you know rather than it just being flat in a cream so i can see it you guys let me know if you can see it or not do you have this one do you see your shimmer when you wear it i'd love to know all right, Jade also promotes inner knowledge and self-discovery. So that's kind of interesting. They talk about using it when you're trying to better yourself or to um, learn more things about yourself. That's They say that Jade will help you with that. And then it also helps you find your true purpose in life. So there you go. If you're lost, maybe I need to give this to my two of my kids who are still kind of trying to figure out what life's about. <laughs> so um, anyway, it's a, I think that this Gemma one is really pretty. Oops, I'm dropping things out. All right, the next one is gonna be another Zoya, which is from their Pixie Dust line, and this is the ever-famous Vespa. I love this one. I've worn this one several times. Um, it definitely dries textured. I definitely always wear it with a very generous and thick top coat. Um, and then it, you know, you don't have that kind of textured feeling, at least not as much as you would have. So it's super pretty. It's kind of a muted green as well with that silver pixie dust glitter that's in there. And it looks like this on the nail. And it's really pretty. And these are top coated, but I don't, I didn't top coat it with a super thick top coat. So it still feels a little rough there, but it's really pretty. Oh, super, super, super pretty. All right, and let's see, Jade brings good luck and good fortune. I think that's the one that everybody knows about. If you ever go to um, a Chinese restaurant or an Asian restaurant, they often have everything with Jade around there. And a Jade is supposed to bring good luck, and so that's why it's so revered in Asian cultures, especially in the Chinese culture. Um, it also attracts wealth, abundance, and prosperity. So good luck, good fortune, wealth, abundance, prosperity. So yeah, you can see why a gift of jade is meant to bring good things to your life. All right, the next polish is gonna be actually the one that I'm wearing on my fingernails. <laughs> it's this one from Bees Knees Lacquer, which is called Always Free. This one's probably my biggest stretch, but I will say there, there are 
jades that are kind of teal leaning. So that's why I wanted to throw this one in there. Um, it's super pretty. I really like it. Um, of course, it's March too, so it's a good time to wear these kind of kind of colors. But it does have more of a teal kind of jelly base, and then it has an aurora, very strong aurora shimmer there, as well as the hollow flaky, like micro flakes, hollow micro flakes that are in there. And it's in, this is one of the ones that was in the same, it's like sibling polish as a lion with a thorn in its paw. And I love all of them. I don't think I have any that I don't love. You know, the only one that I haven't worn is a lion with a thorn in its paw. <laughs> so I need to get on that. I don't know why I, I have it and I've never worn it, but I've worn all the sibling ones to it. All right. And let's see, what else about Jade? Jade can open your mind to the abundance that is already in your life. So not only does it bring you abundance, it makes you realize all the good things that are going on in your life as well. So I think that's pretty awesome. That's pretty cool. All right, let's see. Second to last one here is going to be this one from Cleona Cosmetics. And here's the thing. This one is a magnetic, and you can kind of see in there that there's it, it, the green is actually the magnetic so when you pull it the base is actually in the it has that kind of magenta you can kind of see it at different angles let's see if i can get it i can see it really strong i'm not sure if you guys can see it there we go now you can see it um but what i did was i left it in its unmagnetized state and so that really to me looked like another different color of jade that you can find again i'm going to be flashing up some of those pictures and this one is called toxic sludge and it's really pretty i have not worn it so it's an untried and this is what it looks like on the nail when it's unmagnetized magnetized you definitely just get mostly the pink with just the green line but i thought it'd be really pretty unmagnetized all right and then the last um actually last couple of i guess i should say the last couple of properties about jade um, is that is where they are found those are found in myanmar guatemala china and japan and the less expensive kind the nef the nephrite is found in british columbia wyoming new zealand taiwan and china so i think that's kind of interesting that i wonder what makes that so you know why would the better stuff be in i mean obviously they're different stones, so that's probably why you're finding them in different places. But I don't know. I just I find that very curious as to, you know, how I would like to know what the science is behind that. Like, what's different about those parts of the world that it makes the more expensive type of jade? It's intriguing. If anybody knows, let me know. All right, and the last polish that I picked out for this is kind of a strange one. So I picked out this one from Maybelline, the fast gels that you can find at like Dollar Tree. And this one is called Jaded Jade. So there you go. And, but it's a metallic-y, I don't want to say it's pearly because it doesn't really have that many lines in it. Um, but it's the softest kind of shimmery green of all the polishes that I picked. And it's really pretty. It's just very light. So, I mean, it's just, I mean, I have a dark, this dark color and, and over top of my nail, it's still showing pretty well. Um, it has a few lines in it, I guess, if you don't like brush strokes, um, but it's not horrible. So it's different. I wonder what it would look like, like on top of one of these creams. It would probably be really interesting. So, all right. And the last little factoid that I'm going to tell you about Jade is that it's often used in jewelry and decorations. So, and I think that's, I mean, that's the obvious that they use it a lot, especially in Asian cultures. I mean, I don't know how many times you see jade elephants or jade sculptures and jade jewelry. Um, obviously, they're trying to bring out some kind of good luck or good fortune with it. I know it's a huge one for good luck because I've been told that many times when I've been at restaurants that had them there. Um, so, yeah. I like that, that it's supposed to bring you good luck. Okay, so of these polishes, what do you guys think? I just kind of did a short and sweet little kind of video with this one since I didn't have Jacqueline with me here to help me do all my little facts. Um, I think that 
this is a really unique color category, which I wouldn't have thought of if I wasn't doing the series. So I think that's pretty cool. Um, I'm actually think, really gonna leave a few of these out for spring because I think that they're perfect for spring, especially the simple colors. Uh, so yeah, I, I probably wouldn't have pulled that out for spring if I wasn't doing this series. So now that it's out, I'm gonna go for it. Thank you for joining me today. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you in our next video. Bye.